Welcome to the VCA challenge and today we have a very very special guest. She is a visual artist. She is an illustrator and she's also a graphic designer. She got a, a MFA at the University of Tehran. She published illustrations in magazines and in children's books. Um, she also had exhibits at the UT Dallas Arts Gallery. I think the most recent one has uh, was uh, Sarafa. And she's won first and second place at multiple ATEC exhibits and also at the Irvin's Arts Center. And she was also one of the top 10 finalists at the Skylight um, exhibit in 2017 in Colombia. <laughs> wow, my dear. And she's right now pursuing a MFA at UT Dallas. So please welcome my day and Please correct me how you pronounce your name. Is it Azgapur? It's correct. <laughs> yes. Maide Azgapur, is that how you pronounce right. it? Yes. yes. Okay, I got it. Welcome okay. to the show, Maide. So, hello, Pablo, and hello, everybody, and thank you for having me here. It's, it's an honor, Maide. It's it's an honor having you here. So, you are still pursuing your MFA, but you say you are teaching now? Uh, actually, I'm an instructor in uh, ATEC, University oh. of Texas. And uh, this semester and next semester. Oh wow! Congratulations. How how is it going Thank so far? <laughs> it's good. Uh, at first, it was uh, a little, you know, stressful, but now I'm much more better, that's and great. I have a lot of good students. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's really right. cool. I wish I wish I would have stayed one more semester so I could have taken your class. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Maide, um, I think we met in a projection mapping class and I think the second time I saw you, you were doing some um, updates in a meeting with uh, your MFA group and then I believe after that um, you were doing the, the phone call mapping, I think it was for your class. Right. The last thing we worked on was motherboard. <laughs> that was like huge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. That was a very wonderful project for me and I got a lot of good experience from you and and also uh, Professor Scott and also everybody in the lab and that was wonderful for me. Oh yes, I, I, I miss the studio. I, I remember seeing you pretty much every day uh, what, what's exactly. it the, is it called the fashion circuits? And uh, no, actually, uh, in front of the three D um, lab was uh, synth lab. The synth lab. That's the synth lab. No, no, lab synth. Oh, lab synth. Yeah, I, I, I always <laughs> <laughs> you do? Okay. mistake the name of these two. <laughs> but that's where lab you were most of the time, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I miss it. I use. Yeah, I miss me too. Yeah, Oh me man. Too. Um. So you say you're teaching. What are you teaching? I. Uh, uh, teach the design one uh, in ATEC. Oh, oh man, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> so for the challenge today, what are you going to be creating? I see carving, oh, I see paintings. You. I'm excited. What right. are you gonna create? So uh, I want to uh, do a lin uh, linoleum paint. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is my favorite technique, but uh, I have uh, prepared my uh, sketch uh, to save time in advance. Mm -hmm. I want to um, have a print uh, uh, about a Christmas tree, but it's a little different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Christmas tree, a little fun and cute. Um, so um, I'm gonna transfer this to the linoleum. Okay. But you should know that uh, if uh, this is my first uh, sketch, okay? okay. So uh, you should know that if I want to use this one, my final work uh, will be mirrored. So oh, okay. uh, yeah. So uh, um, as I wanted to have exactly this one, I mirrored my uh, sketch um, mm. sort of here. So I don't need the first one right now. For trust, uh, firing the sketch uh, on the linoleum, I will use this transform, uh, mm. this uh, transfer paper, uh, which makes uh, the, uh, the process more easier for me. That's so cool. Okay. I think I remember that paper uh, back in Mexico, actually, in elementary school. We call it uh, yeah. Calca. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> So uh, it's uh, interesting, the name is uh, super good, but um, actually we had this paper, it's kind of graffiti, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know exactly, but I'm looking for this one here 
very very much but uh, i want to say you know leticia right uh, leticia P- a phd student from in, um, brazil yes right yes <laughs> and um she gave uh, she gave me this one oh, okay. <laughs> thank you leticia <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me transfer <laughs> right so while you do that um here come the questions <laughs> i know you work with a lot of mediums you do illustration you do prints you did projection mapping and you did fixing the circuits at the at the motherboard project so which is your medium so far which is your favorite medium so far um this one, <laughs> this one. okay <laughs> yeah i love carving and you know printing the uh, my sketch and this is really fun for me uh, and sort of people uh, tell me that this is a very hard technique but um i'm super fast <laughs> <laughs> for this one i uh, tried um, this uh, technique uh, since um, maybe 10 years ago uh, i started uh, working with this technique i think i'm sort of good in, in it i think I you like. are amazing <laughs> <laughs> thank you you work with a couple 3d like just uh digital software so far is there one that is your favorite yeah photoshop uh, at first um i during my undergrad I learned uh, Corel Draw, but uh, you know I don't know. You know this software, a Cor- Corel Draw. Mm, no. No. So uh, I really uh, like that one, but then later when I moved here, I mo- worked more with Photoshop and Illustrator or InDesign. So in Photoshop, what are three shortcuts or three techniques? that you like to use on that so on photoshop i like to brush windows of the photoshop i like timeline because i uh, don't know to work with after effect mm. so i did my animations in photoshop <laughs> with a timeline of that so it was really helpful for me it was a little hard but oh yeah Helpful. And also, uh, I like and also uh, yeah, hue and saturation. I worked a lot, a lot about uh, with that. Uh, oh, the uh, the hue saturation adjustment. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, either in Photoshop or in uh, the pro- the medium that you're doing right now, what has been like the hardest technique or like the hardest tool to master so far? Uh, for me, etching was the hardest technique. Etching. <laughs> Yeah, uh, print make. Um, it's a, a part of print making, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, for me it was very hard. I tried a um, couple of times. Uh, I, we worked a bit acid uh, in uh, this mm-hmm. technique, but yeah. <laughs> so that was the hardest. What has been? Give me like one helpful tool, one physical and one digital that has, you know, allow you to just create more beautiful art. One one, one, one of each that has been the most helpful. Uh, tool, I can say carving tools. It's very important for me and very mm-hmm. helpful. And about the digital, um, I think brush is more helpful. Oh, like the brushes in Photoshop, like you said? Yes, yes. Okay. Have you made your own or do you use like the ones that come with it? Yes, usually I made my own. I work with my own brush. So we have these Wow, here. okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. My uh, carving tools, not all of them um, used. They are uh, with, uh, they, they are with a variety of uh, blade shapes, as you can see here. Which one do you use the most? And uh, most of the time I use this tree. This and this one. Okay. I don't remember I used this one at all. <laughs> I don't know what is this for. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I started as sort of with this a small mm-hmm. carving tool. Okay, so the next question is what is one software that you have yet to try and you would love to just you know play around with? After effect. After Effects, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I, I really need that for uh, making the animation. Mm-hmm. Because I heard that the Photoshop is really hard and I have to and I should try After Effects or Premiere. Uh, but um, yeah, I really like to learn that and it's um, in my future plan. <laughs> so one, more, uh, one thing that I want to mention that is 
Uh, during carving, remember always uh, curve away from your fingers. For example, you know oh, this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did it a lot. And uh, so for now, I'm carving the negative space because it's a relief print, and we need uh, the uh, positive space for. Uh, Painting. What are two artists that you look up to? Uh, one digital artist and one traditional artist. Hannah Hawk. Do you, I don't know the pronunciation of her name. Hannah Hawk or Hannah Hawk. I don't know. Yeah, she was a German dot art and she's, I think, best known for her photo montage. Photo montage. Yeah. I really love them and during my third semester I um, create a lot uh, six I, I create a collection of six uh, photo montage with printmaking and mm. I uh, study her I studied her work and it was amazing. <laughs> Actually recently I'm studying um Faride Lashai's work uh, she is uh, an uh, she was an, uh, an Iranian artist uh, a paint uh, she was an Iranian uh, painter and um, but um, I like her abstract paintings you know she used uh, a new media to add animated elements uh, to oh, her work wow. which is very interesting I think you should see her works. <laughs> One of her works has uh, an animated uh, rabbit on it, and I love that one. So you want to do like, you want to combine stuff like that? That'll be. I, I would like to see your work like that one day. I think it would yes, be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, I really inspired by her work. For the next question, imagine we have a time machine and that we can go back. 10 years and then we're walking down the street and then we see you and then you see you from 10 years ago <laughs> what will you tell yourself and you only have 10 seconds go 10 9 don't don't cry eight, for your mistake seven <laughs> oh six yeah i cried a lot for my, my mistakes oh no <laughs> so yeah you got five more seconds four three <laughs> uh, because I lived far a while, uh, far a while, uh, my uh, parents uh, for maybe more than six years. Uh, but I visit them most of the I visited them most of the times. But uh, it was really hard for me, and um, it happens a lot during time that you have a lot of mistakes. I don't know. I just remember that i cried a lot for some of them <laughs> oh, i think i remember that piece uh the projection mapping well, what is the name of that piece the phone call that you couldn't you couldn't reach your mom because there was some communication yeah. troubles with iran what is that yes called? exactly oh, no about the, i don't remember maybe um internet disconnection but you don't, you don't have it on your website or anything right yes i didn't um uh, upload it, uh, that one yet in the website but I will do that later. Do you also added symphony? I remember some birds. Do you added some birds from symphony in there? Mm, no. In in that work? You know? Yeah, I, th I think I remember seeing some birds. Yes, but uh, not from uh, my illustration. It's a mm. um, video art. It's just a video of the birds oh, on okay. top of uh, yeah my work. Yeah, I think that's like the first one that I saw. Uh, symphony. I think that's the one that you presented. Mm -hmm. I saw on Instagram that you posted uh, the sigh and that's a cool sweater <laughs> that's a really cool sweater so, actually my mom uh, made that for me oh yeah, yeah. i Wait. just wear it and then uh, what do you mean i just uh, thought about the sweater uh, my mom um waved that uh waved it for me oh I mean, but the, the print on the on the front is like is it photoshop yes i uh, actually i photographed uh, and then i uh, collage uh, everything mm -hmm. and uh, on the paper not in the photoshop uh, and uh, um, i mix printmaking and uh, photography together first i uh, it depends uh, to the design but um i remember that i um print the background 
and then I collaged uh, the photos uh, on the paper and also at, at the end I had something uh, linoleum uh, print on top of that. It looks really good, my dear. What What is the, the meaning behind the, the stepping on the lungs? Or is it footprints on the lungs? Uh, if you uh, read um, uh, the bottom of the photo, uh, you can see that I may, uh, I created all of those uh, uh, photo montage based on my uh, poems. Uh, so uh, I have text and based on that text, I uh, created my photo montage oh okay okay i see i have to yeah. click on it okay okay oh wow the, 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 this art piece comes with a poem that is so cool <laughs> Right. <laughs> sort of all of my illustrations are based uh, on the poem that uh, i um uh, i wrote after leaving my country oh i like uh, the hungry snake yeah that one is cool I like that one, that one too. Something uh, like a gloomy Sunday, uh, for example, here, because we have gloomy Friday in our country. What is that? You know, end of the weekend, you feel something, you feel miss something or some say, sad feeling, <laughs> you know? You say you have it on Fridays? Uh, yeah, usually uh, in our country, uh, people feeling uh, you know bad after uh, you know uh, during afternoon because they had to go uh, they have to go uh, to work mm. after Friday <laughs> 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 it, and also it makes sort of that uh, day a little you know um, sad or that my works are based on that uh, feeling do you know what are the last two songs that you added to your music library it's uh, usually i use different music persian and english both but more recently i uh, listened to uh, Julio Iglesias uh, oh, music. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I like her, uh, his song, song. And also, um, an Iranian songs. I remember uh, Castle of Loneliness uh, by Farmers Aslani. I really like this song. Okay, next question. Uh, talking about food, what is your favorite American food? Like a food oh, combo? God. <laughs> <laughs> and give me also your favorite like international, it, it doesn't have to be Iranian, but international uh, food combo. Uh, it should be food or it can be, for example, shake. <laughs> yeah, it can be shake too. Um, I really love uh, caramel shakes here. Oh, from where? <laughs> My favorite. I usually um, buy uh, from Sonic. Um, mm. My favorite. And nice. <laughs> but international food, um, I like an uh, Iranian uh, food. Uh, it, uh, it's called uh, Gorma Sabzi and I uh, cook that here and most of my friends, uh, I mean American friends or international, you should try that, you should come here and I will <laughs> cook for you. <laughs> Uh, all of them love it. <laughs> I don't know the translation of uh, gourmet, but uh, sabzi means uh, vegetables. <laughs> okay, okay, Maide. What about um, some advice uh, you have for artists that are looking at this and they want to start making making prints and making some stuff similar? So for printmaking, you need to be more patient. But for the art, I mean, uh, it should be, for example, um, what should I say? Strive for your goal as much as you can. This is what I did during my study or during my life. <laughs> is there like a highlight of your career so far? I think studying during uh, studying in A Tech uh, mm. was sort of a huge step for me. And because I learned a lot of things and sort of I had a journey from traditional to technological okay. and because of that I think it was really huge for me um, because before coming to ATEC I uh, worked a lot with uh, you know um, at you know with advertising uh, company okay. and um, you know working with Photoshop designing a lot of uh, advertisement but um, I think 
this is art this is what i really like and i want to continue um adding technology and new media to my works and i cannot wait to see it <laughs> <laughs> thank you i love you you are right now uh, utd you you working on your mfa but is there something that if you were to go somewhere else that you were that you're gonna miss about utd and um where do you see a tech in the next 10 years i miss uh gathering in labs mm. um and group uh, brainstorming i really like that one and uh, i see atex labs uh, to be very famous mm -hmm. within the next few years because they start a lot of you know projects and creative projects i mean that is very special i think oh yes yeah. i'm hoping to come back uh sometime and work for projects <laughs> Yeah, me too. And it's really sad that um, this is my last semester in ATEC, uh, but I can't see the building, you know, the university mm. anymore. I really miss university. Yeah, me too. I mean, I we basically live there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We spend so much time in the studios. Exactly, you you were alive. <laughs> you live there. <laughs> I brought I brought my my bed to the studio. <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> oh, thank you, Atek. Thank you. Really, thank you, Atek. <laughs> I never th thought that I missed this university. Oh yeah, I love using um, 3D software and digital tools, and, but just like watching you do this <laughs> it, it makes me want to use physical tools because <laughs> you feel the material and then you feel the tool yeah. and the weight yeah. of like actually i like uh work with hand uh, much more than uh digital uh, i mean with software or digital work i just hate to sit in front of the you know laptop and doing just digital work <laughs> sometimes i don't have the patience like you said you need a lot of patience <laughs> <laughs> and because uh, you know software can be sometimes pretty fast right it's like i'm, I'm i just got used to it and but i i, I like physical too so <laughs> i understand i think i have more control control on uh, physical stuff <laughs> than digital work mm, yes definitely <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> well computers can act all kinds of ways so yeah, I think computers is not predictable and sometimes <laughs> <laughs> think something that <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Do you like to learn this one, Paolo? This technique? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that boring for you? Mm, I feel like I can do one or two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing that for 10 years. <laughs> I think I more than 10 years. I don't think it's boring. It's just like may maybe maybe I will like I said I'm used to like having things really quick because of 3D mm -hmm. software and sometimes I can lose patience, but I, I can finish it like just not too many. <laughs> <laughs> Actually at the beginning of the learning of this technique, mm -hmm. I uh, thought same. I really thought that I'm going to do just one or two, and then yeah, that's enough. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why and how I, I'm still in there. <laughs> Have you done any more uh, 3D sculpting? Like I, I know you made that. Um, remember the bird, the dove you made? Yeah, not actually no, because after COVID. Mm. Um, I just uh, started working on my MFA project and I didn't have enough time to continue. But uh, it's not favorite, <laughs> not my favorite. <laughs> I think I need uh, to know a lot about it. Like the tools and how everything works? Yes, but everything. Yeah, I think that's that's the hard part because, uh, I mean, right now you're using this tool and you feel it with your hands. So yeah, that's... Right. And you know how it works and in and, and a computer uh, you have to learn the parameters and the numbers because they have to simulate oh how much pressure is my they putting onto this how much material right. is going to be cut out so oh yeah it's going to get complicated <laughs> right exactly and during uh, learning a new technique you may forgot a lot of things uh, and 
I think that I may forgot some of them and I need to um, study again about that. Mm. Mm. I think it's best if you just like do it because I don't know if you study like carving tools or you just like you know practice and see what it does. I would say it's best to just like go for it. Mm. Don't be afraid of 3D, my then. <laughs> <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or just a little here. With the Mary Catman. <laughs> and then we'll be done. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like it. Text is really important that we mirror the text. Oh, good, because you flip it. Okay, yeah. Yes, exactly. Sometimes I forget. After, <laughs> after carving, I just remember, oh my god. <laughs> I had to do that again. So, if you mess up, do you just like, like cover the letters and then use like a different piece? I tried that again. I should paint it again because uh, when I, uh, I, I after carving, I just um, understood that uh, it's a mistake and I should try to uh, carve again one more time. Like you would after. do the cat again? Not the cat, the oh, text. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because text, we really need that to be mm -hmm. uh, exactly. But at that time, at that uh, point, you can't read the text doesn't make sense do you have like, any pets um no <laughs> but no. <laughs> i lived with uh my brother because uh, as a family uh, i live with my brother mm -hmm. so uh, he had uh, he have a cat right now but i lived with them uh, for uh eight years oh. and uh, nash he is uh, i think 11 years old <laughs> <laughs> wow it's a Persian cat and I love him. <laughs> but I think he hates me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Because, because I pet him a lot. <laughs> With cuddling and everything and he just hates <laughs> Because I put a lot of pressure on him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love cats and I will probably bring one. <laughs> Adopt one of them, hopefully in the future. <laughs> we can't care uh, around of this, but because of the time. And I uh, hopefully uh, and most of the time I uh, try to uh, cut uh, the parts because it's really it's not rest necessary to have them. Do you watch TikTok? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you if you make a video and you mm -hmm. like similar to this and then you show it on TikTok and you have a shop, I feel like you will become rich. <laughs> 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 like this is this is what they love in TikTok. You just see in process and seeing how people do art and especially cats and Christmas. I feel like <laughs> you will be a millionaire. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. So this is ready, I think so. Let me clean here a little. Oh, that's one thing I'm not gonna like, the cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fast. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I want to put a little more paper, some more paper uh, under my paper. It makes it a little, you know, soft okay. for curling. So, um, so I'm going to put a small amount of paint on top of the glass. Oh, that's glass, okay. Yeah, it's glass. Because we need a smoothing sort of. Oh, I just bought it. Uh, this is um, very helpful for me. Uh, I usually uh, use uh, this one. Uh, it, the name, I think it's uh, uh, Burnt Plate Oil. Uh, it makes uh, my print less uh, viscous. Uh, I'm going to roll a thin layer of ink onto my block. We have some effect here on the paper, but I like them. Lots of um, ways to transfer paint onto the paper, uh, but um, for example, like uh, machine working with machine or putting paper on top of uh, on top of the block. Mm -hmm. uh, but I usually put my uh, block face down uh, on uh, to the paper. So I use uh, this uh, helpful um, tool 
for pressing or uh, sometimes I use my finger, my fingertips on the block, remove it carefully. Nice. But uh, we can uh, just put that uh, way to make it dry. But um, let me try paper. I don't have enough time. I will uh, pick up the ink with this paper, the extra ink. Finally, <laughs> so I really like to um, make this work with um, different colors, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm sorry it took a lot of time for curving, but <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. Oh man. Oh, can I see it a little bit closer? Yes. Oh, I, I see the, the details you said, the accents that you said. Yeah, I love this effect that we have. <laughs> Is that a bird on the on the whisker? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, man. Uh, the eyes of the cat, it's not clear. So sometimes with the brush, we can edit that. Maybe like this. <laughs> yeah. But maybe I need to curve the eyes a little bit more for having a better print. Oh, because once you add the the ink, like it it gets inside, yes, right? Okay. Yes. 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 My day, yes. congratulations! <laughs> congratulations you, for finishing the challenge. Oh man, <laughs> this was like a masterclass. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. No, thank you. It's an honor having you. Um, my day, if people want to follow you, they want to stay in touch with you or just look at your work, um, what is the best place uh, to contact you? Uh, Instagram or uh, my website. Okay. or with uh, youtube i usually upload my videos in youtube but oh. most of the time uh, my works are in uh, instagram or my website <laughs> okay i didn't know you had a youtube yeah i have <laughs> okay okay <laughs> oh man well th thank you so much Maya. and any any projects any art projects that you are cooking right now uh, i'm working on my mfa project uh um Actually, they are uh, printmaking and uh, I, I, I didn't study a lot about the new media to adding my work. I, I'm still a study uh, some uh, books. Uh, I need more uh, information about that, but for now, uh, I, ha I uh, have illustrate. Uh, I have illustrating. Uh, I'm, I'm illustrating uh, my um, uh, again my poems. Um, uh, then I wanna add uh, some, uh, you know, new media or projection mapping on top of my painting or printmaking. And once again, I cannot wait to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Pablo. <laughs> oh man. Well, Maide, ha have a good night. Please stay in touch with me. Uh, hopefully we can collaborate in the future. I would love it. It will be an honor. It will be uh, me an too, honor. For me. <laughs> for me too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pablo. <laughs> Thank you, Maide. Um, and hope to see you soon as well. See you soon. <laughs> Bye. Good have, a, have a great night. Bye.